Tonight I'm having strawberries and a few blackberries dipped in coconut yogurt and garlic stuffed olives. For the salad, I'm using this classic garden salad from Kroger. I'm going to put tahini in it and soaked almonds. For the main course, I'm going to have Foods Alive onion garlic flax crackers dipped in guacamole that I got marked down at Kroger. My one meal for tonight is garlic stuffed olives, salad with tahini and soaked almonds, coconut yogurt with strawberries and blackberries, and flax crackers with guacamole. So I'm going to start out with the fruit and coconut yogurt. So there's some with a blackberry. That is good. And strawberry. That is good. So, uh, coconut yogurt. Um, this is like the carb part of the meal, but all this is like fat, so it, it is a it's a high fat night, uh, with the exception of the carbs right here because the coconut yogurt is sweetened, and it's really good with the fruit. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Now for the olives. These are garlic stuffed olives. That is good. Now for the salad, uh, I have tahini on it. Tahini is basically sesame seed paste or butter. And I have soaked almonds. Soaking the almonds removes the enzyme inhibitors, making them easier to digest. And I soak them for about uh, three hours. So I'm just going to mix it up. I'm taking a break from the salad just to make sure that I can dig into this. Uh, fat is pretty filling. I'm used to eating carbs and or carbs with protein. So I'm going to uh, just go ahead and start eating this. That is good. So these are flax crackers. Flax seed crackers. Of course seeds are a source of fat. And then guacamole made from avocado. Which is a source of fat. I usually don't eat a lot of fat in one sitting, uh, but I do want to throw a higher fat night in every once in a while. So, I don't eat a lot of carbs and fat together, like a high fat, high carb meal. Um, there are a couple things that I do eat every once in a while, like vegan grilled cheese. 
that are high in fat and carbs. Or uh, the day of mac and cheese. But one reason I don't really combine like high fat and high carb stuff in the same meal is just because I went through like a high carb, low fat. Uh, phase through before uh, this one meal a day thing. So I kind of got used to separating fat from carbs and other than like the a few things I don't really crave a lot of stuff like that. when I do eat stuff like vegan grilled cheese, um, I've no I noticed that I crave it more. Like the day after I eat vegan grilled cheese, I'll want more vegan grilled cheese. There's something about how the fat and carbs work together to make things more palatable, I guess. Combining fat and sugar together makes things hyper palatable. Like donuts is a good example, I guess. So, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll throw in a high fat night like this. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off. I just had an idea. I'm going to put the rest of the guacamole on top of the salad. And then I'm going to uh, take the flax crackers and just crumble on the salad. So, a little improv right there. Mix that up and see how much of this I can eat. So that's it for this meal. I really liked the coconut yogurt and the guacamole was pretty good. I'll probably just finish the salad off off camera. And yeah, so I've been eating one meal a day for the past. Tomorrow will end week five. And I've lost about 18 pounds. I really like eating one meal a day. And I plan on continuing and posting more videos. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.